Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> Hello, everybody. And here we are on my second birthday of my travel adventures. This time last year, I was in Chiang Mai. I hope you can hear me okay, because I am sat right next to the river here, but it is on one of the back roads and there are motorcycles going past. So I do hope you can hear me. So I thought I would sit down and do a little birthday catch up because as I said I will insert some footage here but this time last year I was in Chiang Mai with Tony and Kendall and Sinead and I celebrated with a facial and massage and then we all went out for drinks in the UN bar and it was amazing. This year I am in Siem Reap still with Sinead <laughs> and we're going out on Saturday night so I thought that as it's my birthday it's a great time to have a bit of a catch up with everybody. So when I left way way back when in November 2022 I sat and recorded a little bit of myself not knowing what to expect. We finally got to the day just before I'm about to leave. How am I feeling? It's been strange saying goodbye to everybody. I've had a couple of moments. Am I excited? Everybody says, are you excited? I don't know. I'm just not feeling anything at the moment. It's weird. I suppose I just don't know what to expect. I've got, oh, my bags are so overweight. Do I know what's going to be around the corner? No. Is that scary? No, I'm just, I just need to get going. After selling my business and all my belongings with actually no expectations whatsoever. Do I have any regrets? No. Well, yes. One. These are my bags all packed and ready to go. Overpacking. And I still overpack. I have become a lot better. But yeah, I would say my only regret is overpacking. So if you go away, try to pack light. It is so much easier to be able to move around. And who knew that? I would still be here, still loving every moment, <laughs> still loving every moment and finding such a beautiful place as Siem Reap in Cambodia. I'm really excited today. I'm going to go and volunteer at a school. Being picked up at half past one and we're going to head out. This is where the school teacher used to live for eight years and this is the school. This is the classroom and the children are delightful but the school is definitely in need of repairs. my heart it really has I've already extended my visa and there are plans to maybe after my two months to be able to leave the country and then come back in on a different visa and stay for longer but I will talk more about that later another question that comes up quite often is do you miss family and friends well yes of course I do but actually, I probably speak to them more now I'm traveling than before because everybody works, everybody's got their own life. And right now, I just find it easier to connect through video calls, FaceTime, WhatsApp. My friend Sarah, hi Sarah, if you're watching, we've been on several pub crawls together around Chiang Mai and Siem Reap. And yeah, so we literally just video call each other. And I take her out for the night and she takes me out for the afternoon. And it's lovely. If you're, if you're serious about doing the travel, you will make it work and you will find ways to keep those connections, even if it is 
a pub crawl via Chiang Mai and Southampton. Things will work and you will find a way. One of the best things about travel so far is got to be the people that you meet. The places, yes, they're gorgeous, but it's the people that leave the lasting impressions on you. It really is. I've made some fantastic friendships. Another thing that comes up is where is your favourite place? Well, actually, I haven't got a favourite place. There are magical places everywhere. I've got a lot of very special memories from different places. And yeah, as I said, it's sometimes the people that make or break a place. But I thought that nowhere was going to fill my heart ever as much as Chiang Mai. They say that Thailand is the land of smiles. Actually, Cambodia trumps that. The people are the kindest people I think I have ever met. Right now, I have been in Siem Reap for six weeks. And I've loved every minute. I've got a couple of weeks left before I've got to leave the country. So the plan right now is to leave Siem Reap on the 26th and head down to Phnom Penh and spend a few days there before catching a flight back to KL because I have to leave the country. And there are a few places in Malaysia that I would like to visit. So that is what I'm going to do with the definite idea that I am going to return to Siem Reap on a different visa, one that I can extend for six months and then stay here and spend some time and show you the real Siem Reap, show you the people, maybe do some interviews with local people because as I say, this place has really captured my heart and I really feel like I want to come and spend some more time here. I found a really nice kind of expat community. I found a really nice group of local friends as well. One of my favorite little bars from here is what Sinead and I have lovingly called the Red Van Bar. Again, the staff and everyone there are so friendly and so nice. The local food and the food sellers, again, amazing. We've made friends with a lovely lady called Ali, um, and on the other side of the road where we were holding on for dear life when the rainstorm came and the lady was holding on to the umbrella <laughs> because she thought she was going to do a Mary Poppins across the river. It's just, I think you can tell, yeah, I really like Siem Reap. It fills my heart with joy. It really has. Who wouldn't just love it here, eh? Hey? And I say in every single video how lucky am I to be sat here talking to you and showing you some of the most beautiful places that I've ever been to. So I have been staying at Nonny Tree, the hostel, which is lovely. The staff there are so friendly, but when I come back, I will look into getting my own apartment because although hostels are great, when you're stopping somewhere for a little while, I think you're going to need a little bit more privacy to stay long term. So what I will do in the next couple of weeks is look for an apartment to be able to rent for a few months while I'm staying here. So with that, I'm going to go off and edit this so that you can watch it on my birthday. There is a little link if you would like to buy me a coffee or something stronger in the description under buy me a coffee. Otherwise, hit the like button, hit the subscribe and follow me Nam with a backpack for the next one. Bye.